What's up guys? Just got into Revelstoke for the first ride of this trip. I wrapped up my clinic season last week and uh, now I'm just traveling around chasing snow and sunshine. I don't know how the snow is, but we definitely got sunshine. It's all blue skies and uh, we're heading up out of the Boulder parking lot today. Gonna see what we get into. It's way warmer than I was expecting. I knew it was gonna be warm today, but it feels like it's 50 degrees. I'm sure it'll be cooler up top, but this feels like mid-April riding, not March. As long as the snow is like soft enough to not hurt when you land in it, and as long as there's traction, it doesn't have to be fluffy pow for me to have fun. I'm also really pumped to be back on the 146 Boost. This thing is so playful compared to the 165 and the 155 I've been riding. It's going to make this um, spring-like snow way more fun than those longer tracks. Luke, looks a little different than last December, huh? A little bit. You going to get stuck going up it? Probably. We'll see. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. <laughs> There's a bunch of guys heading up into this zone and they're heading up this way too. It's always cool like talking to other sledders that are pumped on sledding and just want to say hi. So it's always sweet. We passed a couple huge groups on the way in. I think it's the, the four stroke posse with the chute pulling sleds. Doing a little hiking, testing out this landing, seeing if it's soft enough to throw a whip up here. We've been just cruising around in the sun. We haven't done anything too gnarly. Luke was working on some hopovers on this hill and I decided to do a little whip thing off this rock. I'm gonna put a few tracks in so I can get a little more speed and then huck a right hand whip. I've been taking it pretty easy today. Um, you know, I haven't done anything in the air really this season and uh, we're riding Alpine train and that's kind of all there is to do up here. So I'm just taking it slow and um, kind of trying to get a feel for being in the air. I feel super rusty as far as um, being in the air. You know, I feel dialed on everything else, but jumping technique and just feeling comfortable um, whip with whips and flips and whatnot, just not there because I haven't done it at all and it's mid-March. But I think it'll come back pretty quick. I'm just going to ease into it over the next couple days. So as I was driving up and down that, it kind of packed out in a way that I think it'll work for a 270 flip. So instead of doing a right hand whip hit, it's gonna be a left 270 flip. It's pretty much good to go, I think. Like the bottom's nice and packed. The lip isn't packed, but I think I'll have enough speed that it's okay. Pretty gradual ramp into it. So everything looks good to me. I just put the GoPro on and Luke's set up with the camera. So we're gonna send it. <laughs> So that wasn't anything too crazy, but I'm pumped to get a clean 270 hit right off the bat. 
The whip hits weren't very clean, kind of got tossed on both of them. Uh, but you know what? It's so hard to get a consistent rotation on whips like that. I actually feel like on a flip, like the 270 flip, it's more consistent than the whip. So I'm not too bummed out about it. It, it is what it is. The snow is soft and I knew that the chance of riding it out was, wasn't was super high. So I think we're gonna take a quick break here, eat a snack, and then um, keep pushing along this shaded cliff band because the best snow is in the shade stuff here. Everything in the sun is pretty set up. I'm definitely not flipping to sunny stuff, but I'll flip all day long to the shaded stuff. Nice bow tie, Luke. <laughs> He's making a lot of noises. So I was looking at this pillow. I think I'm gonna do a little 270 flip off it. It doesn't have enough lip, but if I pack this trail in here and get it trenched down, that'll give me more kick off it. And being on a 146, I don't need very much air to get this to rotate around on a 270 flip. So I'm gonna take a few more runs and pack it down and see if it starts shaping up or not. All right, I put some tracks in, it's prepped. Luke's setting up to film it and we're gonna give this one a go. Almost too much lip kicking me up and not enough forward momentum. I think I kind of G'd out into the ramp of it. I think for the next one, I want a more gradual ramp because I think I didn't rotate right because my shocks compressed and then rebounded as I was coming off the lip and rebounded in a weird way. this place sick terrain good scenery phenomenal snow feels good to be back in Revy <laughs> film some stuff in these rocks the snow is like i don't know it's kind of weird it, it's like heavy on top and drier underneath so i'm not getting very good traction so i don't know if it's going to look very cool but the perspective of all the rocks and then filming from that rock above luke i think will be cool so even if the riding is not that great i think it's just a kind of scenic rocky pillowy shot <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my 
That one would have been rough to hang on to. <laughs> <laughs> lay the sled over and match it to the angle of the ramp. Yep, you wanna carry momentum in so you don't have to throttle off the lip and then you let the sled kind of match the angle of the lip and you kind of let off as you're coming off the lip. That way the track brings the sled back flat. So you come off the lip crooked, but the gyro effect of the track spinning um, levels you back out so you land proper. And you kind of like drop your shoulder or let the handlebars kind of drop below you, but you keep your body position more on top of the sled. Okay. Do you do much for brake or throttle? No, on this, on a hit like this, where you're coming off camber, you use almost no brake. Because if you use brake, it stops the gyro effect of the track and it doesn't level you out. So you end up landing on your panel or crooked. Okay. So that your track kind of just coasts in the air. Nice, that was really good. That was really good. I ended in a bomb hole, but first uh, jump I've done that wasn't straight air. Yeah, they're way cooler feeling when you kind of get it floating sideways. We found the rest of the people. This is why the rest of the mountain's empty. They're all sitting up here. You taking a turn? What's up? <laughs> you know, just for the chaos. Oh, in the line. Is that a chick? We got the chick center in today. That's sick. <laughs> Good thing he has tunnel grips. <laughs> he had to use those to get back to the sled. <laughs> I was slow on the draw and missed it, but that was a sweet shoot. Yeah. The 46 isn't going up that one, I guarantee that. I'd get halfway and have to flip out of it, re-entry out of it.
Oh! Kind of just slid it down on the panel, but did an elevator. Got it stopped here. Should be good to go now. Now I gotta hike back up there to my sled. No life, baby. I hear moving water. There's a river down there. I think that goes down a long ways. Now time for a whooped out trail. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. The stars are out. 